Earlier this week, PNC brought you the story of the Varroa mite, a tiny parasitic bug that is attacking the island's honeybee population. Today, we interviewed the man who first discovered the Varroa mite, UOG biology undergrad, Chris Rosario. And Rosario tells us the good news is there is something we can do to get rid of the Varroa mite. It all started with the USDA's APHIS National Honeybee Project. The goal of the project was to conduct a survey of the health of honeybee colonies and what is negatively affecting their health. Just about a year ago, we, we found the varroa mite, um, and that was at the Southern Comfort Ranch on Guam. The varroa mite is a tiny bug that lives on the bees and sucks out their bee blood or hemolymph. Rosario says that they found the varroa mite on 20 of the 23 feral hives that he tested. The good news is the domestic hives they tested, for example, at Hamamoto's Fruit World were free of the varroa mite. It's only the feral hives that, that we've been uh, finding uh, uh, varroa positive. Which, which could be a, a big problem in the long run because if we don't get to these feral hives in time to where we can domesticate them and treat them for the, uh, the treatment for varroa mites, uh, Guam could have a, a, the same problem as, as Hawaii, which is declining a uh, bee population. The other good news is that there are chemicals that can be used to kill the varroa mite. There are mite away quick strips with formic acid that burns the exoskeletons of the mite. The bad news is that right now Guam is not varroa mite free, which means we can't export queen bees to the United States, which is something we are hoping to be able to do. We have to work towards eradicating the mites or, or actually trying to get our queen bees certified uh, mite free, uh, which is possible in the long run, um, but it's just a, a lot of work ahead. Part of that work involves finding the feral hives on Guam and testing them for the mite. This is why Rosario and the University of Guam need your help. Any feral beehives that, that they may find, um, report it to the Guam Beekeepers Association. That's on the Facebook page. Or you can call the uh, entomology lab uh, at 735-2068. Rosario says as part of the process, he will also get rid of any feral beehives that you don't want on your property. The varroa mite was also found in 60% of the hives sampled in Saipan and in 100% of the hives that were sampled on Tinian.